Hey guys, what's going on? Hope everybody's having a good day out there today. Thanks for tuning back into the video. And uh, we are gonna have a discussion today that's long overdue, in my opinion, uh, something that doesn't get talked about, and that is the whole dynamic between having a family, uh, having a relationship, and your bass fishing. Um, it, it gets swept under the rug a lot, and it has so much to do with every aspect of our life. I'm gonna give you guys, you know, sort of like uh, the Dr. Randy viewpoint here a little bit. Maybe it'll help you guys out, avoid some pitfalls, avoid some uh, pain uh, in your life down the road somewhere. But first of all, I wanna say, listen, before I get into all this, and uh, this is obviously is geared towards maybe some younger people or people that are not in a relationship with somebody yet. If you are a hardcore bass angler and you just are ate up with it and you've gotta go all the time, especially if you have any type of a tournament aspirations. If you haven't got a girlfriend or a boyfriend or, you know, significant other or whatever, I would suggest not to do so. Because if you're single, um, it is so much easier to avoid a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about here than is if you're in some type of a relationship. So I, that's one thing that I always, I always encourage and I suggest people that are younger that have not, you know, formed relationships yet. If you guys are really passionate about fishing, you need to focus on your fishing and stay single because it's going to make things a lot simpler for you. I can promise you a lot of the, the issues that I'm going to talk about, you're not going to have to deal with them and you'll be able to focus on your fishing because what happens, and I've been through the whole process, single, you know, girlfriend, you know, married, all this type of stuff. And I've not only have I been through it, but I've seen it you know for 40 years around all my friends and people I know if you are single um, you can simply focus on your fishing more you don't have any obligations you can go when you want you can come back when you want you can put as much time or energy into your craft as you want to that's my number one suggestion if, if somebody's really serious about that is you've got to make that sacrifice you know, I, it, I don't care what your orientation is, you know, it's sort of our natural inclination as humans that we, that we want companionship. But if you're, bass fishing is like any other sport out there, if you're really focused and dedicated to it, um, it's just simply better if you're single. It really is as far as to be able to put all that energy into it. Because what happens is as you develop relationships uh, with a significant other, um, your time gets split, your energy gets split up. And not only um, does your energy get split up, but your focus gets split up. And there's there's an effect that that has on your bass fishing uh, as a residual impact on it, which then it should. So usually what happens here, and there's a lot of different progressions, is when a bass angler gets a girlfriend or boyfriend, um, you know, they're, there's, there's almost like a, a, a little initial uh, battle back and forth as far as time because usually the significant other that is with a bass angler, um, you know, unless they just love to fish themselves and they want to be out there as much as the uh, bass angler does, there's going to be some type of uh, resentment or there's going to be some type of tension a little bit if there's not a balance that occurs between how much energy and time you put into fishing versus how much time you put into your significant other. Guys, I'm telling you right now, this is not easy for anybody out there because you, it's every single person is different with that. It's like every significant other out there requires a different amount of attention and time. So there, there's, it's not one size fits all with that. And, uh, that is probably why, you know, the, the divorce rate amongst anglers is probably bass anglers is a lot higher than the normal population or not just bass anglers. I would say any, but anybody that has a, something they're passionate about as far as a career or pastime, you could, it could be any other sport or any other uh, field of interest. I mean, because when you split that type of attention up, you know, unless you have an understanding spouse, there's some, uh, you know, residual resentment that comes with that. Then, of course, you know, down the you're dealing with that throughout the whole uh, 
you know, formulation of a relationship, however far that goes down the road, if it gets into marriage or whatever. And then in residually, if, if you have kids that are thrown into the mix, that even multiplies at times a thousand because then not only you have your spouse but you've got the, your kids that demand and require and need attention too and every single bit of that will cut into the amount of energy and time and focus that you put into your uh, your bass fishing so what i want to try to do instead of just saying okay if you want to bass fish you got to be single and you can't have a life beyond bass fishing you know i want to give you guys some tips some advice on how to balance your uh, your passion for bass fishing <clears throat> with your family's needs. First of all, you know, there has to be some type of discussion, I think. It's like, there's, if you w were single before and you were used to a certain routine in your fishing, you have to sit down with your significant other and you have to discuss this as far as, far as you know, how is this going to work? What, are, what, what, what is everybody okay with as far as the time that you put into fishing? That's the, that, that communication is really necessary. And in order for that to work, both parties have to be open. It's like the bass angler has to be open to make concessions and the person that's with the bass angler, if they really care and love about that person, they have to make concessions too, knowing that uh, you know, you don't want to squash somebody's passion and love because once you do that, then that's not the same person that, you know, you initially met. So there has to be a balancing act with that. And this isn't easy all the time. I'm, there's nothing easy about it. I mean, in, unless you have a significant other that is just, that wants to just fish as much as you do, issues will come up with that. That's just the reality of it. That's okay. That's just the world we live in. That's just that's just the way it goes. And it's the same with your children with that. One of the things about that is um, that it not only that extends to your children and your significant other, but it extends to the family unit as a whole. I mean, as if you have a family and you build a family, you know, you have a responsibility to put time and energy into that family and you should want to do that, not that you feel like you have to. But I see out there and I see guys out there all the time and I don't under, I don't see how they do it. They are literally gone every single work weekend fishing. Um, when they're not fishing, they're gone hunting somewhere in hunting season. And on the surface, I just don't see where they put the time and energy into their family. And as a result, a lot of times, you know, that relationship can degrade over time. But you can't, nobody can sit and judge one person's scenario because every situation is differently. Nobody knows how happy or unhappy um, a bass angler is or their spouse is in that relationship. That's private to them, you know, just between the two of them. But ideally, you know, everybody wants to be in a relationship that allows them to enjoy what they want to enjoy in life and yet and also at the same time have a, a very happy and rewarding relationship with their significant other and their children and uh it takes and it just takes then it takes it, it takes awareness and it takes work i mean, I mean between the two of that so uh, the, the advice i guess i guess i want to give you guys with that is you just have to communicate with everybody on that you have to communicate you know when is it okay for me to go? I mean, how much energy is it okay for me to put into fishing? And then the significant other, you know, has to be willing to accept that same too. It's like, you know, I know I need to let him or her spend more time fishing. You know, that's going to make them happy. And in return, that's going to make our relationship better. So um, it's tough, guys. I mean, families and relationships are tough. I don't know anybody out there that is in any relationship or any family situation that doesn't have challenges come up to it. But eventually, you know, we just, we all want to be happy. You know, we all want to, you know, lead happy lives with that. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. Just quick video on this. Uh, I guess the overall consensus that I wanted to leave everybody with, there's two different things. Unless you are in a relationship now, uh, if you are, if you're a serious bass angler, until you get that uh, hardcore, hard charging uh, energy out of your system, stay single. 
just simply stay single. Don't don't go out there and look for a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Focus on your fishing. Put your energy into your fishing. You know, if you're in a situation where you have a significant other or, or a family, um, you simply have to balance the two. You know, this the, the world does not revolve around bass fishing. You know, it does revolve around, you know, family to a large degree. And, you know, bass fishing is part of that too, but it's not as important as your family. And that's why you see a lot of anglers as they get older. And we've talked about this before, as anglers begin to get in their 40s and 50s and they have more of a, more family obligations, they have more of a structure in a family situation, their performance starts to go downhill simply because you, you have to spend that time focusing on your family or it will deteriorate um, and you know whether that deterioration is something that is obvious or inobvious it will eventually still happen I can promise you with that so anyway I hope that helps out a little bit um, like I said it's uh, it's I know everybody out there that, that bass fishes you ha you're dealing with this to some extent I don't know anybody that's not there's handful of guys out there that are professionals that you know their families travel with them all the time they homeschool them uh, you know they're it's a business together with them and they all love to be out on the road that is an exception to the rule that that's that's there's a very small minority out there like that everybody else just has to uh, to uh, figure out what works best for them so Anyway, I hope that uh, shed some light on it again, and uh, thanks for tuning into the video. Much appreciated, and we'll be back soon. See you.